Viewers, welcome to Let's Play Free Space Silent Threat Reborn. Again, a quick little bit of history here before we delve into the game. This was actually a redone from scratch expansion to the original Free Space game, put together by a team of very talented modders. As before, with the original Free Space, I've linked everything in the video here. Uh, when Silent Threat, the original, came out, it was generally regarded as not a great uh, expansion pack. Um, a lot of fan-made missions were included, and it really was kind of subpar. So what the Silent Threat Reborn team was, is they literally went back to basics, kept the overall storyline, but redid every single mission from scratch. Now, I know that much of the history because I've looked into it, and of course I wanted to point out exactly how much of a job these guys have done in making this, remaking this, and making it compatible with Free Space 2 Open. But I know nothing about the story or the plot, other than we're working for Galactic Terran Intelligence. Um, think of it like the Space CIA, if the Space CIA had a limited funding and license to kill. So maybe more like James Bond in space. I don't know, anyhow. Let's get started, I'm excited. Back to free space. Congratulations, pilot. Thank you. You have been selected for the Special Operations Branch of Galactic Terran Intelligence. You passed GTI's rigorous medical and psychological examinations, and your record of service with Admiral Poe and the GTD Intrepid has been exemplary. I am awesome. You will lead Alpha Wing of the 91st Phantoms. As a pilot for the GTI, your missions will involve highly sensitive combat and containment operations. These assignments are covert and classified. Violation of classification protocol will result in court-martial and possible execution under the Counterintelligence and Espionage Act. On the upside, they have a really rockin' health plan. That graphic is sweet. And yes, as you've noticed, not only did these guys redo the entire campaign from beginning to end, everything is voiced. The primary objective of the GTI is to provide Terran Command with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and strategic objectives of forces hostile to the GTA. GTI is divided into three branches, each with its own fleet and each focusing on specific areas of intelligence. Special Operations, headed by the GTD Krios, specializes in strategic assault and containment. Our missions involve high priority objectives in situations too sensitive, dangerous or volatile for standard GTA forces. Intelligence, led by the GTD Soyakaze, specializes in infiltration and espionage. Intel primarily conducts reconnaissance and surgical strikes, and its missions are planned to provide minimal combat exposure. Of course, I'm working for the SO, because hey, that'd be just boring if I was working for intelligence. Research and Development, commanded by the GTD Repulse, specializes in the development of cutting-edge technologies. R&D's missions involve the deployment and field testing of advanced weapons and warship prototypes. As an officer of the GTI, you will have access to these technologies before they become available to GTA pilots. Normally, the three branches conduct joint operations in concert with one another, directed by a single command fleet. Unfortunately, the loss of the GTD Legion in the Battle of Deneb earlier this year has forced us to decentralize our operations somewhat. We will be taking our orders directly from GTA High Command. Hmm, okay. I want to work for R&D. I want the shiny stuff. I want the loot. All efforts to restore contact with Earth have failed. As you know, the sole jump node in Delta Serpentis collapsed shortly after Allied forces tracked and destroyed the Lucifer during its subspace jump. We believe the explosion of the Lucifer's five reactors created a subspace cataclysm that closed the node, perhaps permanently. The cataclysm seems to have also closed the phasing nodes to Deneb and Beta Aquilae via some sort of chain reaction. We currently have no way to access the Sol system via subspace. As Terran scientists work toward re-establishing contact with Earth, an interim GTA command center has been set up in the Delta Serpentis system. Now this also will come back in some other fan-made campaigns that might play later on as well. There's a like the community for this game is ridiculously devoted, and it really shows. Cultural and political differences have threatened to undermine the Terran Basudan Treaty since its inception. 
After 14 years of warfare, the relationship between the GTA and the PVE has been plagued with mutual distrust, misunderstanding, and a failure to comply with the treaty's mandate of full cooperation. Preserving the fragile peace treaty is of the utmost importance. Both the Terran Vasudan War and the Shivan War have taken a heavy toll on our fleets, so our species must work together if we are to have any hope of defeating the Shivan threat. As an officer of the GTI, it is your responsibility to conduct yourself in a manner worthy of your station, both in battle and in your personal interaction with Vasudan colleagues. Should tensions escalate out of control, special operations will brief you on the appropriate method for containing the situation. Okay, that last bit there was a little ominous. I'm just saying. You are being issued with a new Leech Cannon prototype. The Leech Cannon drains the power supply of enemy fighters. Use the gun to disable afterburners, energy weapons and shields. No subsystems targeting is required, just point and shoot. The Leech Cannon is an anti-fighter weapon with minimal effect against larger vessels. Hmm, cool. New toys already. At approximately 1530 hours, Terran and Vasudan fighters repelled a Shivan attack against Outpost Fermi, one of our primary communication terminals in Vega. During the skirmish, Terran pilots fired on our Vasudan allies with intent to kill. Oh boy. Terran command fears that if the PVE learns of this incident, the treaty and our hopes of defeating the Shivans will soon collapse. That's a silence of uh oh. I think I know where this is going. Yep. The motives of these pilots are unclear. We do not believe their actions represent a large-scale insurrection within Terran ranks, but the situation must be contained. Your objective will be to sanitize the area to prevent news of this <laughs> incident from spreading beyond our secure zone. Wow. Destroy everything but the GTI communications terminal. The loss of innocent lives is regrettable, but necessary to preserve the Terran Vasudan Alliance and defeat the Shivans. You must not fail. We have a window of five minutes during which we must complete this operation. Staying any longer risks detection by GTA or PVE forces. Get in, do your job, and get out. Good luck. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that apparently this redone campaign is significantly tougher than the original one as well. Oh, I get all the toys right away. Excellent. Prometheus Cannon, Flail, Banshee. Load them up. I'll definitely take bonus interceptors. And it's nice. So two full wings, all with good good equipment. I like it. Pilots, you have five minutes to complete your objectives. The Krios will jam long-range communications to prevent any ships from transmitting Whoa. beyond their containment zone. Engaging the enemy. Sanitize the area of all hostiles. All voices must be silenced to preserve the Terran Vasudan Alliance. Okay, so this is getting pretty dicey already then. Look at all this. Pilots, the transport Pisces is heading for the jump node. Destroy it Whoa. before it can jump. Oh, and it of course is like the farthest thing away from me too. Double guns. Okay, let's max my speed here. There's no way I'm going to catch that thing in time. Oh, did I just max my shields instead of my... Sh Ugh, fail. Where's its engines? Attention all pilots, the PVT Ares is en route to the Fermi Communications Terminal. If that transport docks, it'll be able to use the terminal to bypass our jamming field. Destroy Ares, ASAP. Okay, let's not crash into that thing here. Come on, one more shot at the engines. Okay, disabled. Ok, 
Okay, hostile. Ares. Command, wing, alpha wing. Disarm my target. target Actually, sure. never mind. Command, all fighters. Destroy my target. Attacking your target. I have five minutes though, don't I? Crap, that's not nearly enough time to get anything done. Yeah, I know, ow. Come on, die before I do. Okay, that really hurt. This mission actually wasn't as hard as I thought. My AI wingmen... Well, I guess they're all trying to kill each other, too. Are there any missiles left? One missile left. Yay. Taking damage. Request come. The area is clear. GTD Krios departing now. Alpha and Beta follow us out. Well, that actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Well done, pilot. You executed a clean sweep of the area and contained a volatile incident. Basudan Command remains unaware of these events and the peace treaty remains intact. For demonstrating a strong sense of duty and a commitment to preserving the Terran Basudan Alliance at any cost, you are awarded the Commendation Medal. Yeah, that, I don't think this music should be quite so heroic. F7 Commendation Medals. Yay! And I'm a captain. <laughs> Don't know what that one was for. Yeah, this music shouldn't be so heroic. I got one kill. But it was a pretty decent ship, too. Alright, this okay, right, so these have my stats from my old games using my pilot as well. Never get that loser for kill. Oh well. So yeah, that's the first mission of Silent Threat Reborn, as you can see. Well done, pilot. No, quiet. Do you have any recommendations? Well done, pilot. Nope. You okay. Very different tone. I had a minute and 30 seconds to spare on that one. So we just killed a bunch of Terran pilots and Vasudan pilots for our very first mission. Oh, this is not going to be a fun trip, viewers. But thank you for watching. Welcome back to Free Space, and we'll see you next video.